I've discovered the secret to these erasable colored pencils, apparently. In today's video, we're gonna find out just how erasable these erasable colored pencils really are. Everybody knows real artists don't make mistakes, so of course you know, as a kid, you need the erasable ability in these colored pencils. Ooh, I have to say right away though, these are kind of, well, for one, they look insane. Look at these designs, wow. But also, look at the tips. Look at the tips. They are absolutely disgusting. Like what, why, why so textured? Why is it, I don't know. What does that mean? I have no idea. I need to put these in rainbow order though for a nice proper swatch and test. We've got our paper and then swatch them. For a Crayola art supply, honestly, these pencils, I always call these crayons when using a Crayola product. This is gonna be a struggle if you hear me say crayon throughout the video, it's just how it is. <laughs> anyway, they feel pretty good for like, you know, children's art supply. Now, I know what you're thinking, Casey, what about the erasing? I'm going to do my usual blending test and layering test first, and then we're gonna go through with the eraser and see how they do. Also. I gotta say, I love how each eraser is actually the color of the pencil as well. We have pink for pink, blue for blue, and not just blue for blue, but we have the different shades of blue. That's really cute. I love that. It's, it's the little details, you know? All right, let's continue on with our blending test, see how well all colors of the rainbow blend together, and then our layering test, seeing how the primary colors layer on top of each other, how opaque or transparent are these pencils. So the blending was amazing. Look at the way these colors went into each other. I'm impressed, I'm happy with that. Our layering is fine, I guess, too. There is quite some okay coverage. They don't really blend into a new color or anything. You just kind of see blue on top of red. I, I'm not looking to blend the colors into different colors. That's why you have lots of colors. That being said, I think it's time to test our erasers. Now, I do have each of them and I do wanna test each of them, but I do wanna test a really thorough, like do a really hard one and then like a medium one and then a soft one. And, oh my, the eraser is getting absolutely destroyed. So maybe, maybe try not to erase too much if you can help it. The really hard, dark color really struggled, but the other ones came off pretty dang good. You'll do a pretty good job erasing as long as you don't make too heavy in a dark mark. But like I said, I do wanna test each of these colors individually because I do wanna know fully what each color is differently available to erase, I guess. So let's get into it. So overall, it seems like there's absolutely no difference in the colors and the erasability. So it just seems like they're all just sort of erasable until you get too dark. Okay, one last test. I wanted to see how these blended colors, now I really did press down, so I have a feeling, oh? I gotta say, I'm impressed. I kind of expected these to be not great. And to be honest, they're pretty all right. It might be nice to just sketch with these pencils and then clean up anything that I found absolutely horrible. Speaking of absolutely horrible, let's do some art. <laughs> I sort of have a weird idea. I wanna get really silly with this illustration and I'm also gonna try sketching with these pencils and seeing if I can just erase away what I got. I figure sketching with my normal pencil will just sort of leave a grayness under the illustration if I'm going to create a colored pencil illustration. So let's try it out. So like I said, I kind of have an idea of something that I want to do and it's just silly. Pencil and eraser themed. Oh my gosh, you're not gonna be able to see what I'm sketching at all because this pencil is so dang light. Oh my goodness. I don't wanna go too dark because I don't want to actually see my sketch, obviously. Excuse me, I gotta, I gotta erase some of my pencil here. <laughs> no. oh, that is a sound I haven't heard 
in a really long time. Oh, I kind of hated it. Kind of nostalgic at the same time. Wow, incredible. Oh my gosh, his neck is so thick. Maybe I should thin his neck out a little bit. That's a little, um, that's a, that's a little, little a lot. And I thought it would be cute if its tail was sort of like, you know when horses get their hair did? <laughs> and they're like, like little, little buns and stuff. What if this horse creature thing had like a tail that was the back of a pencil? So it was like the metal part and then the eraser. <laughs> okay, we need somebody riding this creature. Obviously it's going to be a cat, right? Oh my gosh, how is his head so big? Did I make his head too big? <laughs> Should I make his head smaller? Oh my goodness. I want this little guy to be holding a pencil as if it's going into combat. Oh, does it have to be behind the horse? Will it look like he's stabbing the horse if it's behind the horse? Okay, it's sort of like a jousting situation, but I don't want the pointy part out because these are erasable pencils. I thought it would be cute if the theme was that, I don't know, the cat was erasing its enemy off of the face of earth or something, I don't know. So now we're going to color, like I said, the creature will be pencil inspired. So we're gonna need the yellows for our creature. Maybe I'll tackle one small section at a time. I don't even think I'm going to erase any of the pink. I'm just going to go right on top of it. And um, we're just gonna see how that goes because I've never sketched with colored pencils before. So this will be interesting and new and different. Usually when I work with colored pencils, I work probably about half the size for an illustration because, you know, colored pencils, they have very small tips. This isn't, you know, the most efficient way to fill a huge block of area, but it is what it is. So I am predicting, uh, I'm predicting mini hand cramps. My hands started cramping up when I was watching the colors. I mean, really. I think I'm going to use this peach color and then layer tan on top of it. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. Let's find out. And there you go. Oh my gosh, he kind of looks like a bear so far. It's kind of adorable. Kind of adorable. Uh, but it is a weird horse thing. So let's continue coloring it. As tempted as I am to give this little guy bear paws because he just looks like a bear now with that face. I I want this to be a weird creature. So if it looks like a bear combined with a horse, great. Cause I'm not trying to make it look like, you know, any one animal just trying to make this weird, silly creature. That obviously mostly looks like a horse, let's be honest. Okay. You know, I think I will add a little tan. It is just sort of maybe too bright. I think the tan between the yellow and the peach would be perfect. This creature is starting to freak me out. It almost looks like an eyeball because it's the same way I did the nose. That makes no sense though, because that's a nose, not an eyeball. I don't know. It kind of looks like, I don't know, a bug eyeball? Kind of freaking me out. Okay, I'm testing out shading the yellow up here because the orange is just too extreme to say is the yellow as the shaded color. So I'm adding some yellow orange on top of our golden orange. And honestly, that looks pretty good to me. Actually, I should go heavy on the tan on this one because this is supposed to be shaded and behind our character. So I'm gonna go heavy on the tan because it's darker. Oh, okay, I'm noticing if you layer too much between two colors, they definitely don't lay on top of each other the best. So I gotta be careful about that. Almost similar in a way to crayons where the color underneath starts to peel away as you push down with the second color. I think I might try to make it look a little bit shiny. <laughs> it kinda looks like he has a tin can on his butt. Not quite what I was going for, but you know, it, it is what it is. <laughs> Okay, let's add our eraser. Hopefully that'll help improve things. Not look like a can of tomato soup. Okay, whether or not that looks like an eraser, you know. Okay, the last thing to color on our horse creature is the rest of its little pink hairs, little buns. 
All right, our blue buns are colored. Okay, ooh, I wanna make his eyes pink or red. Why not both, right? Let's see. Oh no, it's scary. I kinda love it. All right, so what color are we coloring the pencil? We're gonna color the pencil blue because it complements the sort of orangey yellow that we colored our pencil horse. And if I color it yellow, it'll blend in. So blue it is. Then gray for the gray part. You know, the gray part. I bet the gray part, the little metal piece between the pencil and the, pe the pencil and the pencil, the pencil and the eraser has a very specific name, like the little tips on your shoelaces or something. Am I going to Google it? No. I'll let y'all in the comments let me know. It'll be a very fun and informative moment for everybody. Can't wait to learn the name of that thing. Oh my God, you guys. So usually when there's like a bunch of excess dust, I don't know if it's a crayon thing or if I usually do that with colored pencils as well. But what I do is I'll take a kneaded eraser and I'll just like, you know, dab it on the area and pick up all the dust. This is a junk eraser at this point. Well, I did that over here. And as you can see, I don't know if it's just because these are erasable, but if I just press down, oh, oh my, I think I found the secret to them being erasable because y'all, that's crazy. I got the imprint. I mean, I'm not even going back and forth. I'm literally just pressing the eraser down and it's gone. And to be honest, I don't mind because I actually kind of hated the tail. Carefully dust this away. Oh my goodness. That, that just, I can't believe how erasable these pencils are. All right, well now I need to, um, <clears throat> I need to uh, reapply. That makes me really concerned about how fixed these pigments are to the paper, it really seems like they're not. Like what is holding them to the paper if they're able to just get sucked off like that so easily? Will I accidentally brush my hand a little bit too hard? I don't know. I've discovered the secret to these erasable colored pencils apparently. Not clickbait? I just love, I love minimal art. So I wasn't really into the shadow that I added. So I'm just gonna put some lines in here and if it looks bad, then I'll add shadow. If it looks fine, then I won't add shadow. Oh geez, adding these lines is proving to be a little bit difficult. Like I mentioned earlier, if you layer two colors on each other, they sort of start to scrape the first color away. And that's what I'm experiencing trying to put this line down. It's sort of scraping away a little bit of the light blue and exposing the white of the page. So hopefully it doesn't happen too often. It doesn't seem to be happening too often, but something that I gotta consider. This might be kind of lame, but to be completely honest, I was thinking about just leaving the little guy white. Is that lame? Gotta add a little bit of color. And then of course I'll be coloring the little guy with line work. Something else I wanted to do was add shading where the pencil might be adding a shadow to our character, our little pencil guy. And it just adds a little bit of a little something down here. This guy's so blank, huh? I'm too afraid to scrape away, oh my God, the dust. So I'm just using a tissue, <laughs> just using a tissue. Okay, I think it's time to start line arting this guy. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use colors that are dark versions of the colors. So for example, I'm going to use orange to line the yellow bits, red to line the pink bits, black or purple if I'm feeling bold for the white. You get the picture. kitty writing this weird pencil creature ready to erase your life. How are the erasable pencils? Well, I thought they were interesting until my kneaded eraser destroyed them, but I felt like I discovered a secret. So I guess that's pretty cool. Overall, they're Crayola pencils. I don't know. They're fine. 
Thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. And a huge thank you to my patrons for all their support. You guys are the best. If you want early access to these videos, secret sketches, live streams, and more, check out the Patreon link in the description. Thank you guys all so, so much for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.